Okay, today we're going to be talking about in this segment the card shell game. And as the name implies, you need a deck of cards to play this game and a flat surface. Um, and if you think about the name card shell, it's very similar to a game that you probably saw at a fair or a carnival where there was a guy with three shells and one P moving them back and forth trying to get you to guess which one it's under and take your money. You're going to get a good workout for visual working memory, visual attention. And it's a bit more challenging than Ace to King, so I highly recommend that you play Ace to King for a little bit and get your baseline up. And what that means, uh, if you watch the Ace to King video, you know that a baseline is you start where you can win and you work your way up in progressively more difficult and challenging levels. I would wait at least until I was Ace to Nine or Ace to Ten before I try to play the card shell game because I don't want you to get frustrated. I want you to play this game. So let's get started and learn how to play the card shell game. Okay, the card shell game is another visual working memory and visual attention game. Uh, if you're having trouble finding things around your house, you're not sure where you left your keys or your glasses, this would be a good game for you. And again, all you're going to need is a regular deck of playing cards. Make sure you take out the joker so that it doesn't uh, distract you. Just take that out and you're going to lay them face down. All you need is a deck of cards and a flat surface. And if you remember back in the days at the carnivals and things of that nature, there would be somebody um, with uh, three shells with one P and he'd constantly be moving it back and forth between them and you had to keep up with it and then you would try to guess the correct location. Well the card shell game is similar to that where the cards will constantly be changing and you have to uh, guess the correct card every time and it's very challenging. So this is how you play the card shell game. And we'll start at the beginner's level. What we're going to do is put out uh, two cards. There's a three and there's a ten. So what you have to do is remember this card. Now when you start you don't need to remember the suit. Just remember the right card. I believe that was a three. So if I get it right I make a correct pile. If I get it wrong I make a wrong pile. Okay and then I put another card in its place. There's a five. Okay now what was this card? I believe this card was a 10. Yes, that's a 10. Okay. And so I replace it with an ace. Okay. All right. Now, what was this card? Five. Did you get five? If you didn't get five, you put it in the wrong pile. Okay. And then you put another card in its place. That's a three. Okay, what was this card? Do you remember this card? It was an ace. Okay, that's right. Now, I'm just, I'm, when you actually play this game, you don't have to talk like this in it. So I'm going to start this over in just a minute and show you. I just want you to understand what we're doing now. Was that two? What was this card? That was a three. Did you get three? If you didn't, it goes in the incorrect pile. You put a seven in its place. And then what was that, the two? That was a two. It goes over here. And then we go with a six and turn it back over. What was this card? Seven. Very good. Some of you guys got seven. Some of you put it in the other pile. There's a queen. What was this one? Six. Okay, so as you can see, after a while, two is not so bad. Now let me show you what you do to make it more difficult. The first thing you can do before you, to make it difficult is to try to guess the suit. So instead of just saying um, a queen of diamonds, I mean instead of just saying queen, you would have to say queen of diamonds to get it correct. And then this one you'd have to say, instead of just saying six, you'd have to say six of spades. If you get it wrong, it goes over here. Now, after you can do two getting the right suits correct, here's how you make it, you bump it up a little bit more difficult, and this will be very challenging for some of you. You're gonna lay out three cards. So it would look like this, a six, eight, seven. 
six. That's an eight. That's an eight. That's a jack. Seven. Five. Eight. Three. Jack. Nine. Seven. Oh, that was a five. I missed that one that goes over there. So I put another one in its place. That's a jack. <clears throat> now, as you can see, three cards is a lot tougher than two. And when I stop and talk like this, you probably already lost your concentration, which is why it's important to make sure there's no distractions in the room. Okay. Let me show you how be better you can do with no distractions. I'm going to put new cards down. Nine. King. Four. Nine. Nine. King. Ten. Four. Ten. Nine. Ace. That was the ten. I missed that one. That's a four. Ace. Oh, that's a ten. I missed that one too. Seven. As you can see, three is much more difficult than two. Now, when you can do three, let me show you a trick. Just so you feel better about yourself, okay? Because actually, three is not that hard if you do this one little trick I'm going to show you. Once you get going with a rhythm, it's much easier. Three, ace, six. Three, ace, six, two, ace, jack, Six, two jack six, two jack five, two jack five, king jack, jack five, jack five, king jack five, king jack two, king jack two, nine jack. Two, nine jack, two, nine j queen, two, nine queen, four, nine queen, four, seven queen, four, seven, four, four, and so on. So rhythm helps with the memory and also saying these again and this is not cheating it's uh, it's a good strategy to get through this you're still having to focus and concentrate and remember what's going on it's an excellent game for visual attention working memory and focus